everyone, it's Tammy, and I am on my way <clears throat> to the BMV. I haven't gotten Alex's, well, the title to the car that Alex is selling, so I need to do that. I know, I think I talked about that in another video, but I hope all of you guys are doing okay. I just thought I would do a little bit of a vlog because it's been a little bit, but I haven't, I, when I got in the car today, I realized I haven't even been in my car since Sunday when I came home from St. Louis visiting Katie and that was such a great time so today is Thursday and I'm hoping that this line isn't very long at the BMV I'm on my lunch for work and I just need to get this taken care of so I'm hoping that I can do that quickly I don't know if I can or not but I've been here three other times and every time the line has been forever long. It was kind of a rainy day this morning, so I'm kind of hoping that maybe there aren't so many people out. I don't know. But if the line is too long and I can't do it today, I will do it another day. But um, I'm still going to go ahead and get grab some lunch while I'm out, I think. I think, I think. I think tonight I'm going to film a Foodie Friday of chicken alfredo I don't know when I'll post that one I did another foodie Friday uh, for I hope this Friday I haven't edited it or anything yet so that's tomorrow so I have some stuff to do tonight I also am going to be talking to Katie tonight about wedding plans and stuff we are trying to meet regularly to discuss all of the plans and I Um, have that meeting with her tonight so that's fun and then hopefully after that I'll be able to film the chicken alfredo video and then after that I will be able to edit and upload a video for foodie Friday tomorrow so and then hopefully this one as well so I've got my work cut out for me <laughs> literally oh <sighs> time cut out for it earmarked <sighs> it's been kind of a stressful week at work just busy yeah, I'm tired um, the dogs have been good but they had some they they didn't particularly care for it I don't know I I say that they didn't eat very well when they were at the kennel for when we were to Katie's to St. Louis. So they were there from Thursday morning until Sunday afternoon. And they said that they just didn't eat very well. And when we got them home, they were so tired. And then they have had diarrhea for a couple days now. So I don't know if it's just their system and they were all worked up and because their food is the same and we sent food to the place so they were they had the same food but uh, hopefully they're getting better I've been leaving them out of their crate when I'm working and I also leave them out of the crate now when I go places sometimes so I don't crate them very often anymore and they weren't crated I don't have them crated right now so I'm really hoping that they don't have an accident they haven't had an accident but with the whole diarrhea thing I always worry so hopefully they won't have an accident and they'll be just fine it's just hard for them to adjust I think and then you know it's hard for people to adjust so little pups when they're in a place they don't know with people they don't know in a crate and they were together but still I can see how it's difficult for them so that was good. I mean, that was that. But I talked about my visit with Katie, I think in my plan with me, but maybe I'll just vlog it a little bit with you guys too, since you might not have seen that. But we had a great time with Katie. Her apartment is so cute. And she had a little sign that Welcome does there and said, I'm so glad you're here. I love you. And it was just really sweet. And we stayed at a lodge and it was really cute it was a bed and breakfast and uh, our room looked like like I don't know it was like a fishing room like there was rods and reels and fish that had been caught and 
whatever that's called, where they mount them. I can't remember what that's called. Taxidermy. Um, and it was really kind of a cool room, and the lodge was beautiful. I'll maybe try to put some pictures underneath about so you guys can see what the room looked like and what the lodge looked like. Uh, and maybe even a little bit of Katie's apartment. It was just so cute and she's she's just adorable so <laughs> not that I'm biased or anything about my daughter but uh, yeah she's doing really well she's really happy she starts school as a teacher first year uh, August 15th I think as teachers go in and then students go in I think a week later so that's kind of neat she is not starting until later in August. I know a lot of the schools around here are starting early August. So I'm kind of hoping that if there's issues with actually being in the classroom, they will learn about that before Katie has to go in the classroom. So if there are issues that turn up, then hopefully she won't have to take that risk if, you know, if not, if it's not necessary. <sighs> I mean, they say that kids are the smallest group of people that have it and spread it but I don't know I think that some of that might be due to the fact that they also have probably been the most protected and they can't go anywhere without their parents so I don't know or without an adult so I don't know but I'm hoping that everything is okay and I'm sure it will be everything will work out what else is going on? <sighs> Seems like the summer has gone by super fast. I'm ready for fall though and school usually starts, when school is starting that makes me start thinking about fall. So I love fall. It's my favorite. And that's one thing that I love about living in Indiana is that we do get all four seasons and although fall seems to be the shortest probably because I like it the most, it's nice to have that the line is forever again at this BMV. I don't know why it's so long. I don't know if it's because people are only allowed in like one at a time or I don't know if we have to go up there and get a ticket or a number. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to get any smaller, so I guess I'll stand in it for a little bit, see how far I can get, and do my best. So. I guess that's what I'll be doing for a little bit. <laughs> oh, fun, fun. All right, I'll talk to you later. So I am back in my craft room and I waited in line for a half an hour and moved up about four people. So I did not get to do what I needed to do at the BMV today. I will hopefully be able to try again tomorrow, but I did go to Chick-fil-A and get some lunch. So that was nice. And I have their Diet Lemonade, which I do love, love, love. It's so good. Mm, it's sour and yummy. Um, let's see what else. I came home and the dogs have been good. No issues at all. So that's fabulous. And I guess I'm going to get started on my stuff. So I will talk to you guys later. And I hope that you guys are all having a good day and staying safe. Bye!
Alexander, there's your chase sister. <laughs> I'm just showing you her apartment. So this is when you first walk in the door. And then she has a cute little table. This is the one that I was telling you about that she got, I think I told you, on Fisher's Marketplace or, no, <laughs> Facebook Marketplace. Yes. And look, she put up a little sign. It says, welcome, thank you for being here. I love you. I don't know if you can read it, so that's why I wrote it, read it. And then, in here, there's a bathroom. Very nice, very nice. She has a closet here for stuff. No, it's oh. a washer and dryer. Oh, washer and dryer. It's even better than stuffs. And this is her room. It's so cute. I put the, my degree in there. Oh. I just need that. And she, yeah, she needs her tassel and mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Yay, cute stuff. Aw, so she's sleeping in the spare room because there's a whole nother room. Well, and the spare room is lighter. There's a lot more light and it's just like cozier and stuff. So there's the door. If you turned left, this is where you'd go. See, it's darker in here. It is a little darker in here, you're right. So she doesn't really have much in here. She's gonna put, um, those are all my stickers. <laughs> she has a lot of stickers and stuff we're gonna put away with her. But this is gonna be, this is like the master bedroom yeah. and there's a master bath here. But she liked the lighter room for herself for now. So yeah. she wants to get a blow up mattress to put in there. And then, so here is the family room or living room. Isn't it cute? Mm, there's the chicken. And her little oh, yeah. stand. Sorry, I hope I didn't make you dizzy. And then the sweet kitchen. Look how high the ceilings are even. Whoa. I know, that's awesome. It's because she's on the third floor. Mm. It's nice. It's so nice. And so she has her own little kitchen here. Do do do. All nice and clean and Katie-like. And then her refrigerator. Very nice. And Did you then, see what I have in my refrigerator? I haven't looked. <laughs> And then her um, patio. I'm gonna move this on this side. Okay. I can see it. Isn't this cute? She's putting up a little butterfly. <laughs> Yay! Love you. Wish you were here. Aww. Miss you. Aww. <laughs> Alright, sweet pea. I guess I'll let you go, but I wanted to send this to you as I promised. Love you.